Hello and welcome to EV Review Ireland. My name is Derek Riley. Today we're looking at the Go Cycle foldable e bike. It's the G4 and specifically the G4i model that we're looking at. So let's get started. Here we are with the Kia Nero EV, and you can see exactly how big the box is that the Go Cycle comes in. And so, fairly substantial. If you're interested in all things EV and you want to support the channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss any further updates. I'm just going to show you the unboxing of the Go Cycle G4. So you saw the size of the box and actually on one of the inside flaps, you've got the QR code that will bring you to the app that will talk you through the whole thing. It comes fairly complete. Everything is pretty much attached. The uh, mudguards, which are now part of the actual um, purchase price, along with the lights are already uh, part. You don't have to buy them as an additional accessory you uh, just have to fit the mudguards really and attach the saddle otherwise everything is pretty much good to go uh, fairly uh, comprehensive box of accessories there's the lock and wheel nut there is the two rubber straps for your mobile phone holder um, we're kicking out the stands here we're clapping it together we're putting on the saddle making sure that we can attach the rear. So the rear mudguard is attached with just a thumb screw that's attached to the frame and the front mudguard needs to be attached which the only tool you'll actually need is a little Phillips or uh, hex, no it's a Phillips head screwdriver. But the rear mudguard can be attached so let's get back to the features on the bike. So here we are with the Go Cycle G4 and the founder of Go Cycle has that Formula One connection with McLaren. So there's a lot of F1 inspired stuff like the driver cockpit, which we're going to talk about, or the rider cockpit, apologies. We've got predictive electronic gear shifting, and then we have the patented DLR running light. So we're going to look through all of this. Starting at the front, you've got that single fork, one sided easy access you don't even have to take the uh, wheel off to get changed the tire and uh, these are proprietary uh, go cycle tires um, so and it's a front mounted hub motor on it so let's start off with those tires what are we talking about so they are 406 60s uh, 20 inch by two and a half inch uh, so great comfort and support and we'll be taking this out for a ride later on um, it is a a carbon fiber front fork depending on the model would dictate what the different components are made of so there's the g4 there's the g4i and then there's the g4i plus g4i plus is predominantly all carbon fiber whereas this is the g4i it has a carbon front fork but the wheels are a single cast uh, i think they're magnesium but we'll confirm that yeah they are magnesium um, and so you've got that pit stop wheel set up and you can put lock and nuts down here as well. They come with the kit. Uh, hydraulic brakes, 140 millimeter. And you've got mud guards and lights included on all G4 Go cycles now, whereas before they were optional extras. Um, and so the the motor itself is a couple of different um, differences between. It is a G drive, G4 drive is what they're calling it, uh, with traction control. It's a 500 watt in the US or 250 watt in the EU continuous motor. The wheels themselves is that are proprietary to go cycle. They're Moto GP inspired, infused with silica for better grip and handling. The fact that you don't have to take the tire off, or sorry, the wheel off to take the, change the tire is really good. Um, Moving up then, you've got the first of the hints that it is a folding e-bike with this, and we'll do that fold in a second. There is that um, collar there, but that um, and that just is allowing for the adjustment on the actual height of the handlebars. Uh, the entry-level G4 doesn't have height adjustable handlebars, but this G4i and the G4i Plus does. Again, you've got Go Cycle ergonomic grips that can be locked into place. Uh, you've got that again reach you can change the actual adjustment on them hydraulic disc brakes you've got a nice little um a power out uh, adapt micro usb c uh, if you want to charge your phone this is the f1 rider inspired and when you turn it on which i'll do now you can see there's a lot of different types of lights it makes a couple of beeps as well so with this 
setup you have on the left hand side is battery life so these 10 dots here they're done in um, increments of 10 if this night rider thing would stop here we go so that's the level of battery then you've got blue lights you've got two of them three four of them and that depends on the pattern for the dlr so you've got one is low solid two is low with a flash i don't think you can pick that up on camera three is bright and four then is bright with a flash so that's what those floor blue lights mean and then on the uh, up here is there's three red lights and you probably can hear this and so there's a micro shift system uh, and on the g4i and the g4i plus it's uh, automatic but you still have the ability to change it here it's little uh, one gear two gear three gear and then it'll bring it all itself all the way back and then on this side when we're out riding you'll see that it goes up with red dots with regards to your speed so everything's very um, like a formula one steering wheel height adjust where we talked about uh, that folding mechanism safety catches here pull it out if i can with one hand a brand new bike so it's a bit stiffer than normal let me turn the bike off which is down here single push and that will fold the handlebars down you've got supernova on the front and on the rear i will to fold it now when i'm here you've got the second clip then in the middle you've got the safety release in open it up and then it swings all the way around again stiff just because it's a brand new bike and then it goes all the way around while this is open we can show you the actual uh, battery that's removable it can be charged on the bike or off the bike to spin that all the way around you've got those butterfly kickstand really nice touch and then if you want to bring it put it back and you can walk the bike using oh i don't know what i didn't do i didn't connect there's a little plastic little elastic attachment that goes right the way across there's a hook here right beside the bell and now the arms won't separate and so you can bring it all the way around won't go in reverse though because of the the gearing mechanism and if you want to make it even narrower there is this pedal here you can take off this little safety cap and then and this stores here and so the dimensions of it are tiny you can even bring this you can turn it around you can take it out you can lower it down but you can see how small it is really nice and put it back together again put this in this connector here slide it in and then this is just to stop it coming off release a little clip hold it all together and that sits up in here and spin it around and because of that stand is two legs on it it is very easy to maneuver clip and then clip so you wanted to get the battery out we just show you how that operates this little pin the uh, titanium pin you pop it up and this then opens all the way out so the battery itself has a little button where you can see the little leds lighting up and then you unlock the blue you pull out the blue ring twist it around and then you can slide it all the way down and it comes off like that that's how you charge it outside the battery that's some of the battery details there and uh, nearly three just over 370 watt hours 36 volt and depending on the, the entry level one is a slightly smaller size whereas the uh, g4i and the g4i plus have the same battery lock it in make sure i get that right now there we go and then this fella goes over here again i'm all doing this with one hand so you can see how easy it is to do and then with the pin with that little line that up and then this guy goes back in here and you're good to go slide it around clip it down bring this fella back up and clip it straighten it up 
and the touch points on are the front wheel and the two the back wheel doesn't it's free standing uh, so the saddle itself has a little allen key hidden away up in here for adjusting it you've got a reflector on the back a little handle here this is height adjustable as well uh, nice comfortable saddle supernova light built in really nice you've got that suspension setting there with a 25 millimeter and you've got this clean drive uh, system so the chain is all enclosed it's not just a cover it's a fully enclosed system um, and you can see at the back there you've got your hydraulic disc brakes and the dish on the magnesium wheels on the g4i mudguard as well all included now yeah what other stats have we got comes in uh, in the g4 the entry level one has comes in three colors a blue a white and a black this is the white in the g4i currently only available in black and white i believe there was a gray at one stage but not currently thanks to the team at green air here in dublin ireland they are running an offer at the moment where it's a the price of list prices for this g4i is 5499 but they have it down to 4399 so an 1100 euro saving their entry level g4 is 3799 so it's expensive but for what you get the quality the fit the feel the finish and those elements of carbon fiber so weight wise it's uh, around 17.8 kgs including pedals in the kickstand and for the g4i plus it's just under 17 kgs because you're getting a bit more carbon fiber so we talked about the battery it's a quick removable lithium ion battery 10.4 amp hour um, and it's 36 volt it takes about three and a half hours to charge the standard g4 doesn't have those and it doesn't have the automatic shift in it. it has a micro shift that we talked about on the g4 I, it's a hydroformed 6061 T6 alloy front frame, carbon fiber mid frame, and then a magnesium injection molded clean drive in the rear. That USB charger at the front is a one amp hour outlet. There is an app, and you can actually put your phone, there's like two little mountain points, and you can have your phone mounted there, and the app can, uh, a total adjustability as to what you can do. Range about 65 kilometers, depending on the pedal input. It can take up 100 kgs of a rider weight, and you can get a number of different attachments. You can get a, a rear pannier rack, you can get a front rack that sits on the front, you can get a carry case for it as well. And the G4i has that removable pedal, it's not on the entry level one. There's rain covers that you can get for it, etc. etc. Um, a good mate of mine, one of my former colleagues, Rob, has the original G uh, Go Cycle, I think it was the GX he had, and he's been always kind enough to offer me, allow me to review it, and I haven't had a chance to get onto him. So, Rob, I finally got the Go Cycle to review. That's not a bad one with the G4. So, you can see how easy it is to get the you just lift it up, oh, I'll show you, and then kick the stands in, and it goes up inside here. You can see them coming out there, really nice. And then to turn it on, you just press that button there once, and it does that little Knight Rider thing, a couple of beeps and a couple of bloops. What's it like riding the Go Cycle G4i? For a small bike with small wheels, it's actually very comfortable. So those diameter wheels, there's just so much air in it. It's nice uh, and cushioning. And you also have the uh, seat boast connector uh, with that suspension arm there, that 25 mil. Yeah, it's good. I like the fact that it remembers what light setting you had on it. So whatever way you've left it, whether it's low solid or high pulse, it shows that. People talk about the display not being very legible. I'm not sure if you're able to pick it up even on camera here, but once you understand it. That auto shifting as well, you can hear it changing uh, between the two, uh, sorry, the three settings, the micro gears. But yeah, easy to use, easy to get around. Very comfortable over that speed bump. I like it. It's expensive, I get that, but like there is no exposed cables. The build quality, it's light, it's got that removable battery. 
fact is it the best folding e-bike that's out there at the moment this is all go cycle do they're only interested in building iterations of this folding e-bike so be that the the regular g4 the g4i or the g4i plus weight saving is the main thing with it and some features the entry level g4 doesn't have this crazy dashboard what do they call it rider cockpit steep incline so yeah easy going perfect commuter e-bike you literally couldn't get better the fact that it falls so flat the fact that you it's so light to lift around the place It's so silent as well even with the assist on that front pedal or that front mounted front hub motor yeah it's good let me know if the go cycle g4 any of the variants are on your shopping list are there others out there i should look at i've had a couple of different price points on my channel so starting to build up your interest in e-bikes there's a full playlist down below but it's great to be able to show different types and price ranges hopefully you've enjoyed my review of the go cycle g4i if you like the video please like it leave a comment make sure you subscribe and remember if you think an ev is for you leave it to me and i'll review Thank you very much for watching.